Hi friendly friends, it's Amy from Savor Salvage Scent and I hope this finds you well. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, thanks for joining me today. Uh, this channel focuses mostly on fragrance, um, collecting, culinary adventures, etc. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for supporting me. Um, I, if you enjoy this content, I hope that you'll give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't, and I would love to hear from you. Um, feel free to leave comments, ideas, reviews, etc. Would love to hear from you. So today I thought I would do a quick uh, review or discussion about one of my favorite perfumes that I think is incredibly overlooked, maybe even dissed. Um, so I'm going to talk today about Bujan. And some of you might be familiar with this super cool bottle. I think the jury is out about this design. I love it. I think it's so cool. Uh, total piece of art. So um, let me tell you a little bit about it. So Bijan was uh, first released in 1986. I was born in 71. So I think part of the reason I'm in love with this is it is to me a really bold statement from my teen years. Um, the uh, kind of spokes lady or model for the scent was Bo Derek. This was right around the time. Um, shoot, what movie was she in? She was so gorgeous and wore braids um, and beads. I'll, I'll link a picture of her below. But um, the fact that she represented this fragrance made it even more appealing to me. Um, the perfumer was Peter Bohm, and uh, here are the notes. The top notes are basil, neroli, ylang-ylang, bergamot, orange blossom, and narcissus. The mid notes are honey, carnation, lily of the valley, jasmine, orris root, tuberose, and rose. And the base notes are oak moss, sandalwood, tonka, amber, patchouli, musk, benzoin, vanilla, heliotrope, and cedar. Um, and, okay, first of all, I'll just say this perfume, ugh, it's so good and it's a steal. It is, um, you can find this online for like as cheap as, I would say, $20. I got this at a discount store for, I think, I think I paid like 12 or 15 for 2.5. Oh my gosh, I have this on today. Um, and I would say this perfume is everything. And what I mean by that is, oh my gosh, it is, it's white florals, it's resins, it's spices, it's, um, I think it could be seen as, um, it's a, it's got a lot of musk in it. It could be seen as an oriental perfume. It could be seen as a floral. It can be seen as a musk. Um, it is so gorgeous. It's frankly almost loud. This is one that I have to be careful and I kind of love it because I'm somebody, I don't know if it's because I wear so much perfume all the time, but so I'm almost anosmic to some perfumes. Like I have to really overspray to, to smell them. I cannot go more than a spray or two on this or I will get a headache. It's not that this gives me a headache, it's just like you have to know how much to wear. And I love it about it. I mean, I, I think it's so great that you can get a few sprays and I will smell it on like the clothes when I pick them up the next day or on my hair as I shower the next time. Um, I just love it. It's so gorgeous. I The other thing that I love is it definitely feels 80s, but to me, it's so cool, um, bold, gorgeous. I get compliments on this. I, I actually just wore this recently out, and we know this is mask time, and so for somebody to be like, what are you wearing? I always think, wow, <laughs> I'm, I'm working. This is working, yeah. So um, highly recommend, phenomenal cheapy, and I think this is great like going into fall and winter. I would wear this any point during the year, but um, I would say in the colder months because of the resins. Oh, and by the way, there's did I say there's carnation in this too? And so it's just got this spicy, 
orange flower, resinous, even a bit of powderiness. It's kind of a powdery perfume too, so that's what I mean by everything. And it's just so bold and gorgeous. Um, for those of you who have tried the other Bijans, I've heard that, um, I would say even though it's got things in it that are, you know, marketed as very female, I bet the right guy could wear this too. And I've heard amazing things about Bijan for men. And also there's a nude, I think. I think there's a few flankers. And I'm going to buy those soon because I've heard they're amazing too and they're super affordable. So I'd love to hear from you. Do any of you wear Bijan? Um, what do you think of this bottle? I love it, but it could be because I'm, I'm, I'm into old things. <laughs> I'm an old thing perhaps even. Um, and anyways, I would love to hear from you if you wear this. Have you worn any of the flankers? Um, what are your other favorite 80s perfumes and cheapies? What's your favorite cheapie under 20 bucks? All right, um, hope to talk to you soon. Have a great day, bye.